right, it is time for another uh, guest uh, programming for the Metcon for the workout uh, here at MoFit. Today, welcome uh, to the guest programming, Matt Gammon. How's it going, Matt? It's going good. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you've never, if you don't recognize Matt, he usually comes, you usually, uh, you and Natasha usually come in the afternoons. Correct. Yep. In Every the, now and then in the morning, though. Once yeah. in a great while. Yeah. Yep. Once in a great while. So folks who come in strictly in the mornings uh, may not have yeah. had a chance to meet you guys yet. But right. uh, Natasha does come sometimes in the morning and in the afternoon. She does. So yeah. they may know your wife, Natasha, more than uh, more than they've seen you so far. Some, okay, cool. Some, some, some. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to – you're going to give me what we're all doing tomorrow. Uh, yeah. for the yeah for the warm for the warm up for the welcome party for yeah. the metcon and for the the goruk uh metcon the goruk yeah. option for the metcon um yeah. so i've got the screen shared with us right here let's start with the warm up which is the welcome party what you got matt okay uh let's see for the yes uh three three times through for all all of these uh, okay. 200 meter run. Yep. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh, 10 yep. push ups. 10 push ups. Yep. And oh, 30 flutter kicks. Okay. Uh, are those four count flutter kicks or just 30 period? Four count. 34 yeah. counts. 34 count flutter kicks. All right. Yeah. But there's a caveat. Yep. So while doing flutter kicks, uh naval aviation trivia and if you get the answer right you stop cool um are you going to provide me with the naval aviation trivia or should i should i should the coach be in charge of looking that up i can uh do you want to do that here or oh no we can't no just people would know the answers (laughs) yeah no sometime let's do this sometime before the end of the day just email me some good questions with the answers okay you got it Yep, that'll work. Okay, cool. So yeah. three times through, and let's put at the beginning of this, we usually do that uh, three to five minutes okay. of PVC warm up oh, when yeah. you arrive. Yeah. Then three times through that part there. Okay. Anything after that on the warm up, or is that the warm up? That's the. It's a good warm up. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's all I. That'll need. do. Yeah, I didn't want to prolong it too much. So for people. And strength, we've already got uh, programmed. I believe that was um, power, power clean. cleans and farmer carry complex. So power clean and farmer carry superset. Okay. All right. So, Matt, let's get down to the meat and bones of this now. The Metcon. What are we going to do for the Metcon? I can't okay. wait to see what you got. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not freakish, but it is. Uh, it's a Spec Ops triathlon. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. And uh, so you can call it that if you want. That's kind of fun. That made me the most excited out of all the little things I was looking at. Spec Ops Triathlon. So this is a special operations thing. Yep. Cool. It's a uh, uh, run one mile. Okay. And then uh, ruck or sand- sandbag carry one mile. Okay. And uh, bike for the remaining time period. And I think just with the varying capabilities of everyone, might be like five minutes a week capping at a half an hour kind of thing. Or, or, or. Now, keep in mind, uh, normally we do the warm up, and then by the time we're done with strength training, we've got usually 20 or 25 minutes left in the whole class. Okay. That's about, that's five minutes. Yeah, like five minutes then. Because I, I kind of did a quick uh, prognostication sort of kind of thing, like a try to predict what people would yeah. use for various times. So yep. I, was, I was seeing like, if you went really fast, 26 minutes, uh, 29 minutes for, for like me to do it probably. Um, 32 minutes if you were slower ish kind of thing. So okay. I was thinking 30 minute time cap uh, for it. That's where I came up with this. That's so, where you came up with that. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Okay. 
Let's try to. Well, we don't need any equipment for it, so that's cool. Um, other than a sandbag. Yeah, rock your sandbag one mile. Or a rock. Yeah. yeah, or rock. Yeah. Um, so let's let's think this through. The average. I think it's some of the some of the classes. The average mile time for running is going to be fifteen or twenty minutes, and the average ruck mile is probably going to be twenty five or thirty minutes. So we're pushing oh. forty five minutes to an hour, I think, with a lot of the people. Okay. So uh, why don't we just do this? Let's let's just do a scale. Yeah, scale as. Let's yeah. scale it down to half. Let's just cut it in half. Sandbag one mile, and we don't need to scale the bike. Okay. Okay, so it's in- it's uh, run a mile, ruck or sandbag carry a mile, and then bike for five minutes. Okay. I love it. Okay, Roger that. And the cool thing is okay. that um, you can insert bike instead of swim because normally you would ruck, uh, run, and swim for the uh, spec ops triathlon. Um, but you can substitute okay. biking in for swimming. They, they allow that. Got it. Got it. Got it. I mean, Hopkins Avenue during some of these rainstorms, it's entirely possible <laughs> yeah. that we could do a. <laughs> it's, Doggy paddle. It has happened. Uh, yeah. I mean, I am fully planning on bringing my kayak in one day and kayaking down Hopkins right in front of the gym. That would be interesting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, uh, what is your go ruck workout? Go ruck is uh, 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 half of a, a DT uh, tough sandbag workout, and uh, half a DT. Yeah, and I have it all broken down. So, I'm okay, DT is deadlifts, hang cleans, and yeah. presses. Uh, Going off memory, it's, there. It's uh, sh- shoulder to overhead. Yeah, sh- uh, yeah. Um, shoulder yeah, overhead. Shoulder. So any any good shoulder overhead could be a press, could be a, a jerk. Yeah, I, uh, it's so five. This rounds. is half half a ruck DT. Okay, five rounds. Half half a sandbag ruck, ruck DT because I think the regular DT might actually use weights. This is for this is sandbag. So, um, so let me put sandbag ruck. Okay, so they're gonna wear a ruck while they're doing it though. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So five rounds. Five rounds. Yeah. Six uh, sandbag deadlifts. Okay. Uh, five sandbag hang cleans. Yep. And four sandbag shoulder to overhead. Okay. So five rounds, six sandbag deadlifts. At the top of that sixth one, you're ready to start doing hang cleans. So you're going to do five sandbag hang cleans. At the end of that fifth sandbag hang cleans, you're in the position to start doing shoulder to overheads. Do four of those. That's a round. Start all over again. Five rounds total. Yeah, five rounds starting with each each round of sandbags to uh, all the way down to, uh, I'm sorry, deadlifts all the way down to shoulder to overheads. Five of those. Uh, shoulder to overheads. Some. Yep. Yep. Uh, the buy-in. Yeah, the buy-in is, there's a buy-in. Is this on the GORUCK or the METCON? This is on the go ruck. Okay. Let me shoot down a line here. What's the buy-in? There's a buy-in. The, the buy-in and the cash out are both uh, uh, 10 sandbag uh, thrusters. Ooh. Yep. That's what makes it. And same thing with the cash it. out. Okay. Yep. And uh, I like it, Matt. You're then- brutal. Oh no! This is this is it's not it's not stopping there. So, oh after good. Each, oh yeah. After each round, uh, hundred meter carry, and there's five. Just whatever the carry. same sandbag you're using for DT. Uh, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. After each round, okay. hundred meter sandbag carry, and then I can break down all the yep. carries because there's five different ones. Okay. The first uh, overhead, first is an overhead carry. Okay. Uh, the second is a suitcase. Okay. The third is a, a back rack. Got it. The fourth is a bear hug. And the fifth is a zercher. Zercher carry, which is like a uh, chest. Z- um, 
Zerch, Zerch, oh, yeah. it's Zerchner or Zerkner? Zerker, yeah, it's just it was Z E R C H E R, I think, or something like that. something close. And it's like a it's like a chest carry, like you're carrying firewood up high. It was like that. So Okay, got it. Okay. And then uh and That's then cool. you would do each round with those and then you would cash out and you'd be done. Got it. So this really needs to be at the end. The cash out, yeah. All right. So we're buying in with 10 sandbag thrusters, five rounds of sandbag DT. So six sandbag deadlifts, five sandbag hang cleans, four sandbag shoulder to overheads. After the first round, you're overhead carrying 100 meters. After the second round, you're suitcase carrying 100 meters. After the third round, you're back rack carrying 100 meters. After the fourth round, you're bear hug carrying 100 meters. And then it's the Zerkner or Zerkner. I'll have to look up the correct way to pronounce that. We've. Yeah. 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 Carry for 100 meters. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Any little subtle nuances we forgot here, Matt? I don't think so. That looks like everything I had. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in good shape. Okay, cool, man. Well, that, that sounds awesome. Thank you, Matt. Are you planning on doing the Metcon, or I'm assuming you're going to do the Go Ruck one? Yeah, I'd like to do the Go Ruck because uh, we uh, – that was actually the April last year's, uh, what do they call it? Uh, go, go ruck, uh, tribe workout. Uh, yep. that, um, and, uh, that was the, the sandbag DT, uh, workout. So that seemed cool. like a good one. I did, uh, I did half of it there at the gym on a Saturday. <laughs> Let's let's real quick. Um, let's give everybody just a quick rundown of, of your background. So you were a Navy pilot, okay. and you're also very much into GORUCK as well. Tell us a little bit about your history here. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Um, grew up as a kid in New Jersey. Uh, uh, tried to trade. Tried wanted to fly. So when I was about six or so, I think I figured out I wanted to fly because uh, I saw uh, some aerobatic pilots, and I wondered what is that like. And uh, so I worked. Uh, I, I bartered for flight time. So I worked uh, manual labor to, uh, at an airport yeah. to get flight time. So eight hours of oh, man. Uh, whatever work was an hour of flight time. I thought it was great because it was too expensive. Yeah. There's no way I could have afforded flying as a kid. And, uh, it's expensive, Makes sense. you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I got my private license, uh, in, in like high school, right before, uh, uh, right before college. Um, went to college, did, uh, uh, marine engineering at college at a, a maritime academy in Maine. So he studied ships and then uh, went, went, uh, got commissioned at the end of that uh, and went to flight school, got lucky and went to flight school uh, and uh, did uh, some stuff in uh, Pensacola and Corpus Christi uh, was all of our flight training. Uh, ended up uh, selecting P3s and flew P3 Orions, which is a, a P3 is a, uh, uh, sub hunting aircraft, four engines. It's a uh, uh, wingspan is just under a hundred feet. It's about 116 feet long, weighs 140,000 pounds. It's a big plane. 60. Big, yeah. Mm. It, it's a based on a Lockheed Electra, uh, which is an old turboprop uh, from, from way back. And, uh, but they put bomb bay doors on it, took off 10 feet of fuselage and hard points on the wings for ordnance. And that. Many people may not know you can carry uh, missiles and bombs and torpedoes and sauna buoys on a P3. So we did get to bomb stuff and uh, it can fire the harpoon missile, the Maverick missile. It, you can uh, drop cluster bomb units, um, Mark 82 Snake Eyes uh, bomb, uh, which I liked a lot. Uh, that was my favorite thing really <laughs> to drop because it, it took a little skill and you could have fun with it. You could, uh, right. you could drop a smoke buoy out the back of the airplane and we, we attacked at 300 feet. And so we'd come around at 300 feet and uh, drop the bomb on the smoke buoy to try to put it out. And uh, these were uh, inert bombs that we would drop most of the time. So it was right. a piece of iron, you know, with little fins on the back. And uh, we yeah. would try to put the smoke out. And that if you won, you got a, you know, you won the prize, whatever, at the, you know, uh, at, at the O Club after you landed. So that was. Uh, yeah, I bet that was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a. So that was. Uh, I flew those things, um, C12s which is a, uh, uh, VIP transport aircraft. And we did joint missions with the air force to transport people around, uh, the U S wherever, mostly we, uh, flew out of, uh, 
uh, Washington State near Seattle, northwest of Seattle, about 60 miles, a place called Whitby Island. It's where I used to fly at it most of the time. So have fun doing that. Yep. Rock and, and roll. Uh, mostly. Well, uh, sorry, go ahead. Physically. No, sorry. Uh, physically, uh, uh, a lot of guys like me, we just uh, ran a lot to keep in cardio shape. Uh, to make sure those flight physicals you took every year that that you were good to go, <laughs> you didn't have to worry. So we ran <laughs> a lot to to keep in okay shape, you know. Fantastic. Well, that shows a little bit of where the background of this workout came from. Yeah, yeah. Running is kind of my happy place, sort of. That's what I gotcha. done and push ups and sit ups for the for the test every six months, I guess that we did. So, yeah. Rock and Good roll. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one, Matt. This is a this is an awesome yeah. workout. Um, I think about I think about four people are going to come in tomorrow. That's my guess. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, no, no. no more than that. I hope everybody looks at this workout and realizes we can scale it. It's important to realize you can scale it. Um, yeah. So, but this is a this is a good one. I really like this. is different. It's definitely a departure from what we usually do. So that's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I got um, yeah. Out of all the different workouts I was looking at, I was like. Eh, we could play with uh, push up, sit up pyramids or, you know, that kind of stuff. But I, something stuck with me that was cool about the Spec Ops triathlon. I just thought that was cool. So, yeah, for sure. To, yeah. Yep. Um, I haven't even looked at the forecast for tomorrow. What's the weather forecast for tomorrow? Have you looked? Yeah. Let me look real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Tomorrow. It might rain a bit. Tomorrow, Friday. Well, 76% chance of rain. Yep, that's what I got. But this this has got I'll tell you what this has got um, foul weather adventure workout written all over it. <laughs> yeah, I would be ex- I would I would I would try to time it so that it hap- that I did mine during a storm. That would be the best time to do it. Yeah, yeah. Then you could say yeah. It's not yeah. the temperature is yeah, too sure. cold. So that's nice. We got that going. For no, us. it's not going to be forty degrees. No, it's not. It's a little chilly right now while we're recording this. It was. It's. Uh, yep like mid fifties out there right now, but it's going to get up to 80 tomorrow. So that's, that's good. Yeah. Getting back I up to 80. Uh, shorts and a windbreaker. And I ran four and a half this morning. And, Sweet. Uh, yeah. It wasn't not too bad. If you put on uh, some light gloves and a, and a uh, watch cap or something, it's yeah, that's no, it's fine. Yep. yep. Well, all right, Matt, I'm going to cut you loose. Thank you very much. Okay. This is an awesome workout. I look forward to watching you, um, attack this this go ruck workout tomorrow and that's probably the one yeah. i'll end up doing myself tomorrow too i'm looking forward to that cool yeah yeah it's cool. not a, not a so, simple one yeah it is it is not no, no. <laughs> well matt thank you very much thank you